So, hey guys, Chauza here. It's time to try out the combination of Super Tandem Level 5 Shanks together with Luffy Zoro. And this is an amazing combo as you'll see because you're basically guaranteed as the Super Tandem every single turn with the guaranteed Tandem or from Swap. And as you see, you just need to tap once with Zoro, Luffy Zoro, once with Shanks and you got a free 2.5 times attack boost and full board of matching orbs. It's actually insane. Only downside is that it's only for quick units, but yes, yeah, you see here, for example, Mono Quick can do quite the work. But yeah, pl playing around with Shanks, all I really want is like a unit with rainbow damage, like Bullet, but for quick, that would be super awesome and really make Shanks a lot better. We'll see if it happens in the future. Uh, there's only three units with rainbow damage, but sadly, no quick unit yet. But yeah, we're going to do speedrun teams against Duffy 2 and Revo 2. Duffy 2 is no stall speedrun with a mainly quick team, which is kind of insane to think about. This was hard to imagine just not long, not too long ago. Like beating Duffy 2 with like Dex and Quick and such has been a challenge for some time, but destroying with it, that's. Uh, a whole other thing, I'd say. And yeah, we're running Wanda, and it's mainly just to have uh, the carrot support to remove the death up. But we also take advantage of Wanda too. So let us do some extra damage on some stages. But I'll call it probably run some other unit, but I wanted to use something not Nami for once with carrot support. Chick is actually amazing for Doffy too. I didn't realize that before building this team, but super low CD with limit break expansion and removes the special bind, gives an ore boost, even gives full board of recovery so we can heal back a bit. Probably not super needed with this team, but I healed back a bit anyway, because why not? And yeah, we use Wanda here to get the attack boost for three stages, only for Wanda and Shanks though, but not a bad deal. Luffy Sword to get the chain lock and an ore boost. And yeah, no problem killing here, despite a ah, Dex enemy. But yeah, it's just it just makes team building so much easier. Like you have the guaranteed extra damage every turn. You don't have to care about ore manipulation. Like those two things together is pretty crazy. And it's not like Shanks and Lufisor are worthless either. Yimbe support coming in clutch here actually. We're able to guarantee a full goal of matching ward going to the next stage. And yeah. Not sure what more there is to say about this team. Kinemon Dendro we can use here. Kick and Icy is nice for extra damage and uh, removing paralysis with the captain ability. They We'll be ready again for final stage as well, so we can get a nice little chain lock. And yeah, I'm happy with how this team turned around. Turned out, I didn't plan for it to be a no stall speed round, but I'm happy it was possible. And once I got the puzzle piece together, it was pretty easy as well. And yeah, we're saving Shanks' super type, of course. Going to use it on the final stage to turn the Dolphys into strength. But yeah, one of my goals with this video is to show that despite being bland and boring, Shanks does have some cool attributes to him. And there's only two super talents in the game that can do this, like you have a dual unit that guarantees tandem orb and you can pair with them to get guaranteed super tandem every single turn. It's Shanks and it's the super tandem Luffy with so Sanji and Judge. But I say this combo is better in general since... Uh, like, it's so easy to set up basically and 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, it feels better to use this combo than the Sanji Judge and uh, Luffy to combo, that's for sure. After using it a bit. Uh, here's Robo 2, it's a no stall speedrun up until final stage. Then I remember that I don't have anything to handle the block orbs. But I like the team so much, so I just stuck with it. It's pretty cool. Until the final stage, and yeah. Final stage is pretty interesting as well. But yeah, what I like with this team is that it's a pretty unique take on Rebel 2, I'd say. Don't often see the kind of strats I use here. It's the first time I use quite a few of these strats, but yeah, it turned out okay. And of course, we got the extra damage every turn from the super tandem. Uh, we're going to be using Kakudu stage. Now let's the attack down. And we're going to use Kaku again against the Limburg stage. And he will be ready for that without stall, so works out pretty nicely. Swap Luffy Zoro, do the super tandem. They have the free increased damage taken from Kaido as well, so this stage is basically free. And yeah, I'm actually going to handle the next stage with just support and Luffy's Sora Swap. And it's not the first time I used that strat. It's pretty easy to set up, like if you have, say, a Law and a Luffy, you can just use Corazon and Railing support. But it's the first time I do it with these particular supports. Command Ace, one turn of Bind left, Swap, remove it. And yeah, we just get the Super Tandem going, and yeah, this will be impossible to kill without the Super Tandem. But yeah, it's basically cheat mode. And yeah, this stage is always annoying, you always need a plan for it. And yeah, this is one of the weaknesses, quotation marks, with the Super Tandem. Like sure they make orbs matching, but if you have the negative orb debuff applied already, you can't apply uh, beneficial orbs buffs. So yeah, we only have the matching orbs here to work with. And here we're going to use Lufusoro, but orb boost is not allowed, but we do get the chain lock at least. So we're going to start with Shanks here, get some nice damage with Lufusoro. Yeah, the damage just works out. I should probably say that this particular team is not something I recommend using. Some stages do have pretty tight damage and at least my Kaido is very high in Westman and he does carry quite a bit on some stages. But yeah, my Kaido is basically maxi West. He is limit pre expanded and level 150. It's not a unit I'd give a key to nowadays, but the game has changed a lot recently. And at least it's still optimal in PvP, so that's something. Yeah, this stage for example, damage is very tight. I hit a great on one playthrough and I didn't kill, so yeah, it's on that level. And yeah, we've saved Moria for this stage. And yeah, we do super tandem, build up the chain, chain for Kaido and kill. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this team actually. Took a bit longer than the Doffy 2 team, which might be surprising since Mono Quick Focus versus Doffy 2 doesn't sound the best, but... But yeah, Driver 2 is harder in general to speedrun, there's just more things in general to handle. And most speedrun teams have captains that inherently resist stuff. Which is one of the cool things with this team. Neither Shanks nor Kaido resist anything. But still we can speedrun to the final stage. It's actually pretty impressive when you think about it. But yeah, Kaido's super type handles the damage threshold. Kaido's special gives extra damage. Yak support removes one turn of the spear. Lufusaurus swap the other. 
Yeah, it took me some time to come up with a clean way to handle this stage, and then I thought about Kaido, and it worked out well. But as I said, I forgot about the final stage. Uh, block Orbs ruins it, sadly. So we have to stall one turn. I'm just going to auto battle to manually remove the Block Orbs. But yeah, I think the team was very cool otherwise, and we get a final cool showcase because we're going to kill final stage with just the Super Tannum because no other special is ready. And yeah, it's tight, but we do it. 2.5 times at free attack is just super dumb to be honest. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the showcase. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.